guys, I'm back with another video and today it's pretty simple and easy. I'm going to be transforming this space behind me into a beautiful, dark, moody, and fun living space for movie time, for the kids, for their friends, and even when they're gone, for me to hang out and enjoy. Very excited to bring some bright, bold colors in here as this is the basement, but it's also the room that we use in the home the most. Started with this little corner that was originally used for the Lego table, just some random artwork on the wall. I'm going to be moving all of this into their bedrooms and into the proper toy room. And now I'm putting in a movie bar where we're gonna have the treats, we're gonna have the drinks, we're going to have everything you need for a successful movie night. I'm keeping it pretty short. Do you want me to show you how to put in a sink in another video? Have you plumbed in a sink? Do you know how? I really don't know how to gauge how deep to put these transformation videos. So if you want to see something more, let me know in the comments. I've been painting for a really long time and I'm very inspired by painting single items that are bright and colorful. Pop art, I'm not, I'm not really sure the style of it, but I've never really known what to do with these pieces. They've just sat in a folder in my art area. So now I've decided to frame them. I've also decided to get them scanned properly and I'm going to be selling them as prints. Probably locally, but I also, I don't know, YouTube, do you guys want to have an option here where you can buy some of these prints? We'll talk about that later. The bar was in and the paintings were up, but with this creamy beige color, it looked really dull. So originally I thought I'm going to paint everything white and I'm going to do a black accent wall or a fun ceiling. And then I decided to go for it. I've always wanted a black on black basement. Still probably do a fun ceiling. I'm not sure if I'm going to plank it in wood or paint the stucco black and then put in some faux beams. I'm going to link right here. I've already done them in a home that I flipped. I love them. I'm just not sure if this is the room for it yet, but we'll see. The faux beams will definitely be going in this home somewhere. The walls are all black. I decided I wanted to bring in a ton of color. The pop art, the paintings that I did. And then I found this rug at Ikea. A rand, rand, um, I can never say their names. Anyway, it was $150. It's huge and it's flat. AKA I can vacuum it with all of the crumbs and all of the dog hair. Refrained from painting graffiti directly on the wall. I do have another area in my home that I'm going to be painting a mural on. I decided to get some bristle board and some poster frames and then put the kids' graffitied names inside of them. This home is going to be very bright, very colorful. My motto for 2022 is that life is way too short to have a boring home and boring walls. If that's your vibe, that's fine. It's just not my vibe anymore. So since all of the walls are black, I decided to take out one of the mantles that I had in storage that I built for a craft show a long time ago, put it on the wall underneath the TV. This was the only wall that felt very dark with nothing on it. Waiting for a few pieces that I have ordered in that are going to go on the walls. I will update the space. I have not done the ceiling yet, but with the added greenery and the deep amber and emerald colors, I am really loving the way that this turned out. Everything I did is linked below. Everything I've used and all of the names of every product in the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you like this transformation. It only took me two days to complete. Just shows you that you don't really need a lot of money to make a big difference in a space. Happy DIYing.